Hi Libra, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a tarot reading for all Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We are going to jump right into it today, but I do want to welcome anyone who's new here and let you all know that I post new readings on Friday, then again on Monday, but I have also started to add a money and career reading periodically on Wednesdays. So if you don't mind hitting the like button, it does something to the algorithm so that people will see this reading, but it will also tell YouTube when those Wednesday readings come out to show those to you in your own algorithm. All right, what advice do you have for Libra? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What does Libra need to know, please, for the best and highest good of all? involved with Libra. All right, we're going to deal the tarot. Then I'm going to uh, have one of the Halloween Oracle cards just to set the stage, pull the whole thing together. You have the Queen of Cups. Judgment. Very angelic reading. Eight of Wands, the Moon, the Hanged Man, the Three of Swords, the Seven of Cups and the World. I like the World with Judgment being here. The second to the last and the last major arcana, wrapping up a cycle, especially with the moon and beginning a new one. All right, what else does Libra need to know, please? Again, Halloween Oracle. I don't get to use these often. So I love them. All right, you have here Ancestors. I like this one. The love and legacy of our DNA. So this is a card that indicates that you are going to achieve your highest potential and your ultimate purpose. That's what this is all about, leaving a legacy. So even if you've had some struggles or some challenges, know that your, your ancestors, those other energy bodies that are no longer walking around in this earth school are still working with you. They're still connected. So if you had a parent who passed on, or a grandparent, or a, even a teacher, or a friend, something like that. That energy is still connected to you and trying to help you achieve your highest and best good. So I love it. Now, with the energies that you have here, we've got, I mentioned, four major arcana, major life events coming towards you, Libra. And I love it. I love the way it's laid out. You have here Pisces, you've got water, fire and air as well. You've got Leo and Taurus too. So with this Queen of Cups, I definitely feel like who's in the mood for love? I like this a lot with the um, Judgment card and the world here. But you also too, whatever it is, you're going to have communication, quick and sudden change. So if it's not about love, if it's something else, like you're trying to move, or even if it's with a job, it's saying that you're going to move into a new cycle. That sure feels fantastic. You're about to get communication that you may not expect. Okay, so expect the unexpected. There could be somebody too in your current situation who moves on. I feel like there may be some a bit of a thorn in everyone's side or somebody who makes life a bit challenging at work where their, their significant other or somebody around them gets a transfer and it ends up moving them. I feel like there's kind of a relief with this energy. But for others of you too, if you've had an unsettling turn of events at work or even with a, a housing situation, it may also be if you've been taking action, you moving on in your own accord. Whatever this is, it's time to celebrate with judgment in the world and of course that Queen of Cups. Now, I do feel like you have quite a loving energy around you with this energy. So you may find, too, if it is a work issue that you have a confidant around you, somebody you can talk to who's understanding, who maybe shares in the same issues. Now, we I've talked about this before, but we kind of, sometimes we can get coworkers confused, right, for friends. Um, and, and they're not necessarily our friends. And I think sometimes when we look at their behavior and we say, okay, would my friend who I don't work with, would my friend do that same thing to me? Probably not. And so they're oftentimes comrades, constituents, or confidants. They're in three groups. The comrades are the people that fight against the same things as you. So they may be the ones who are prone to pulling you into conversations about what they don't like. The constituents fight for the same things as you. So they may have the more the attitude of this is going to get better. 
And of course, the the confidants are the ones that you can actually talk to. And you may be friends with them outside of work. I feel like you have one of those around you with this Queen of Cups. I do feel like you have a supporter around you. So judgment, the energy of judgment. You're in heaven, heaven on earth. That's what this is about. They're standing in at heaven's gate, finding out they're being let in. It's one of the most brilliant cards in the deck. I feel like it's one of the unsung heroes of the tarot that we don't always realize how important this is. It truly is a tipping point where something's going to shift. And it's also, too, a time of review. So with this, you may hit the pause button. You may want to and hit, you know, kind of look at things and put things in perspective. But what they're telling you is whatever it is that you decide here, it's that you're going to be a success with it. And so there may be more going on behind the scenes, more conversations that you don't hear, moves being made that you don't see that it's going to move you forward with this. It's also letting go of any kind of restriction. So if something's been holding you back, like a pes pesky coworker or maybe some rules and regulations that you just don't care for, even if you're trying to start something on your own and you haven't had the right opportunity, like you need a vehicle to do it or you need storage space or you need a storefront or something like that, I do feel like you're going to be on the right path and getting information, especially too if it's something like you need to rent something. You need to get the right space, I keep hearing. Um, and somebody left me a comment about doing tarot at a hair salon. That's what they do uh, occasionally, it sounds like. It could even be a partnership, something like that, where it may be, it may be kind of an, an industry partner who's open-minded and in in if it's health and wellness or something like that, where you get an opportunity, even if it's something with a book signing, getting an opportunity at an, a unique place like a coffee shop or something like that where you can promote yourself. That's what I feel like for those of you who are trying to start something on your own, you have an opportunity to promote yourself in a unique location. That's what they're saying. So with this Eight of Wands, you do have the Arrows of Love coming in. And I had somebody last time, I don't remember if it was in Libra or another reading, that really wanted reconciliation. Now, you do have an issue here. You definitely have that Three of Swords woundedness, but that Seven of Cups is not really ideal down here for reconciliation. Um, I will say with the Moon, that that can definitely be somebody keeping tabs on you, but if it's you doing the keeping tabs on them, I feel like they're telling you to expand your horizons because with that Seven of Cups, you may miss a relationship, but I just feel like you don't miss how they broke your heart. Especially, we're going to get back into that in a minute, but these two are right next to each other and that, that can definitely be an indication of whatever has changed. You don't miss it. It's like saying there was pain there that I don't want a second helping of. And I'm all full on the pain. I had enough of that. So with the Eight of Wands, be open to change, Libra. Allow yourself to be in flow. Let it go and let it flow with this energy because the more we try to hang on to an idea the oftentimes the more distant it becomes. So the moon, like I said, is an energy of secrets revealed, new cycles coming in. And truthfully with the moon, there, like I said, there may be more going on than you're aware of, but the moon, the, the moon always mirrors the sun. It's a dawn of a new day coming. So if there's been some uncertainty or there's been something that's out of balance in your life, this is where things come into balance. So after the moon comes the sun. So there's a bit of insecurity with the moon, but it's not long lasting because the, the cards are meant to evolve. They meant, they're meant to indicate that there's an evolution happening here. These are not stagnant. They're very much fluid. So with the hanged man, I always have to point this out. Look at their legs. And I've mentioned this and I can't remember if I've told you guys or not. But I went through quite a period in my life where I used to sleep with my legs in that position. Anybody else, as you do a number four. And it was not, I didn't realize it was related to the tarot. I wasn't doing that intentionally. Um, but there's something really nice about it. So for somebody, it's the next four weeks or possibly four months. If you're single um, and looking for a relationship, I'd say you've got great aspects all the way through the end of the year. But this is an openness, okay? It's a shift. I heard paradigm shift. A paradigm shift, they keep saying. It's being open to change and being open to a new possibility here. That illumination around the crown is an awakening. It's a time in your life where you're coming into an awakening and it's a very important time, especially as your season has come to a close. You might be feeling high, you might be feeling great, 
or other two of you, if you've been feeling like the time in review that we talked about at the judgment card has been challenging for you, it's time to let go to receive with this. Time to open up to new possibilities and be okay with the past. That's what I feel like they're telling you. It's like releasing anything. If you've been a little bit hard on yourself saying, I wish I was in a different place. I thought I'd be farther along. Hey, you're right where you're supposed to be. Okay, when you have these cards, they're trying to tell you there's more coming. So this Three of Swords does indicate a bit of a difficult ending, and it could have been something that was rather disloyal. I do get it that way. Like somebody surprised you by their own behavior, by their untrustworthy behavior. And so I do feel like you got double-crossed. It's like a stab in the heart with this one. But the Three of Swords is also about letting go. It's about, this can be about resisting change. And the longer we do, as we know, Carl Jung said it best, what we resist persists. And so if we don't let go of something that's meant to be let go of, it can cause a lot of problems for us. We also have, everyone loves this one, the Daydreamer's Torment card. Okay, this is like me with a barbell back squat, my least favorite exercise. It's one of my least favorite cards because it does indicate a state of confusion. In this reading, I do feel like they're trying to tell you, like I said, just kind of drop your shoulders, drop the tension, relax, open your arms up wide and say, universe, I am ready. Guide me, lead me. You take two steps. I'm going to take one, but we're going along together. So with the, um, I feel like, did I miss the card of the moon? I feel like I skipped right over this. I hope I didn't, but I do feel like with this, this is a card that indicates you're on the path to happiness, okay? I know I talked about it for a long time, but I just don't remember holding it. Isn't that weird? Um, but with that does happen periodically, by the way. I just get into a, a zone when I'm doing this. It's energy. So with the energy of the world, they're trying to tell you good things are coming. It's a change of perspective, though, which you have a few different times here. So I do feel like when you open up and allow things to come in, especially too with a relationship, this indicates travel, longevity, feeling that robust feeling of happiness and true joy. So I do want to say in a relationship, because we kind of got away from that a bit, I apologize on that. In a relationship, I mentioned through the next four months are going to be very ideal for you to meet somebody. But this is the kind of person where I'm telling you what, when you meet them, you're not going to want to, you're not going to want to be apart from them. And it's mutual. Okay. You got somebody here that's a life partner coming in. So let's see here what the angels want to tell you, Libra. What else does Libra need to know? Messages for Libra. Listen to your intuition. So allow your intuition to be your guide. Remain positive as you move forward. It's up to you, they say. And you've got within the next few months, and we talked about the next four months are going to be pivotal. They give you a yes, Libra. Good things are on the way. I love you too. And I'll be back again soon.